The FIFA Club World Cup, it originated at the turn of the century in 2000. It's been going strong for almost two decades now, and it unites every single Champions League winner from their respective continents, ranging from the South American winners to the obviously the Champions League winners. And then we also have CONCACAF, we have the African Champions League winners, the Asian Champions League winners, and we also even move down to the Oceania Region Champions League winners and whoever the host may be. This year, the tournament is taking place in Qatar. For some reason, I don't know why every single footballing tournament just seems to be hosted in Qatar. That's right, 2022 World Cup, I'm looking straight at you, but another type of World Cup is being held three years earlier, and it's starting in mid-December. For some reason, however, even though it's got a rather decent history, the competition has never been in FIFA. I do know what some of the problems are in getting this specific tournament in, considering there are teams entering that just aren't in FIFA. However, also, it is a FIFA-based tournament tournament so it shouldn't be that hard translating that into FIFA just EA just haven't really bothered I guess thankfully for FIFA 20 PC mods we are able to participate in the FIFA Club World Cup of 2019 yes that's right you heard it here first the Club World Cup now in FIFA 20 career mode you have to be either the team that are in the World Cup this year like Liverpool who we are right now or you could actually earn your spot in later years of your career mode save whatever you choose it's up to you. Make sure to check out the guys who made this mod down in the description below. They are absolute legends. I'll leave their links, both Musley and FIFA. However, we have ran into a few obstacles in actually putting the FIFA Club World Cup in. Obviously, there are teams that, you know, aren't in FIFA and we can't just put a brand new team in FIFA. So, we're going to have to work around it a bit. This is going to be round one. Champions League winners of Asia, Al Hilal, are taking on, I believe, those are the African Champions League winners. Even though they didn't win it, they're the only team from Africa. The Kaiser Chiefs from South Africa. And then we have the CONCACAF winners, Montana. Terry up against Al Ain FC. I believe they're just from the rest of the world category. We've just put a random team in there. It's not a picture perfect, accurate real life representation, but it's the best we could get. The competition does consist of a few knockout games, first round, second round, a match for fifth place, semi-finals, match for third place, and obviously the final. And then it also introduces a bit of a chaotic December if you're from Liverpool. There was that whole thing with Jurgen Klopp in the media and such saying they have to play games back to back two days in a row they have to send a completely different squad out to this club world cup and a completely different squad out to a carabao cup game they have the day earlier so it'll be interesting to see how that transpires in real life but in fifa 20 career mode it is pretty realistic who knew that the calendar would be realistic something that has haunted career mode fans for so long now flamengo also joined liverpool in the semi-finals however because all the brazilian teams aren't in fifa they're coming at a later date in fifa 20 we're gonna have to use river plate in this one the south South American champions, quote unquote. If they won the game in real life, they would be participating. Unfortunately, they lost it. They're going to take on the CONCACAF champions, Monteri. I believe that is a Mexican side. And in the other semi-final, we're taking on Al Hilal, the Asian Champions League winners of 2019. The Asian champions defeated the African Champions League winners, who is actually a Tunisian team, and that's why the Kaiser Chiefs are replacing them. And then also who should be in here is Al Saad and Hyun Jean Sport, who are the Oceania Champions League winners. They are from New Caledonia. So yeah, I, I don't see a future where a New Caledonian team is in FIFA, but Prove me wrong, EA. Anyways, now that we've gotten all that out the way, now we've gotten all the rules, regulations, and, you know, all the obstacles we had to face. And if you go ahead and enjoy the video, make sure to slap a like on it down below. Hit subscribe and turn on those notifications because we are aiming for 50,000 subscribers before the end of the year. Also, make sure to comment down below who do you think will win the Club World Cup. Obviously, the big favorite is Liverpool. Will there be an upset? Who knows? Let me know down below who you're rooting for. We're going to be playing our first opening FIFA Club World Cup game up against Al Hilal, a very possible match that could happen in real life. The team is absolutely knackered. The team is dead. Just take a look at it. The energy drained. Liverpool are going to have to play their B team in this competition. I don't see any of their starters making their way through considering how busy December is for Liverpool. And I could just imagine in real life Jurgen Klopp absolutely losing it in the press conference room, having to be in both 
Qatar and the Carabao Cup game within the space of 24 hours. I think that is logistically impossible, but we'll see how it pans out in real life. And as you can see here, you get the full cutscenes, you get all the game hype going into it. We've got River Plate, and then we've got our one, Liverpool versus Al Hilal. Unfortunately, the logo isn't in the game. We're just going to have to deal with that generic one, but it's still the FIFA Club World Cup. As the sun sets on a strange looking Qatar right here, you'd expect the stadium to be a bit bigger. Where the air conditioner's at, boys? I know it's still winter, but the temperature in Qatar is through the roof. This is a bit of warm up before the 2022 World Cup. Apparently, they're hosting the FIFA Club World Cup in 2020 as well. So, Qatar. Tara getting busy. Here we line up for the first World Cup match. We're going to go straight into it. The semi-finals. Let's get ourselves a final spot. Here we go then. Jordan Henderson through to Fabinho. There we go. First shot. Sadio Mane will cross that one in. It is Jordan Henderson, the captain. And then Fabinho with the strike. Fabinho will go again. Jordan Henderson rolling on the floor. And then, unfortunately, Mane can't get there. Here we go. What can Jurgen Klopp's men conjure up here? The European champions. Red hot favorites to take out the tournament. But how serious are they going to take it in real life? Well, I'm telling you now, in FIFA, they're taking it seriously. But the keeper with a massive save. Henderson through to Salah again. Come on, Mo Salah. That was terrible. Von Alden to take over to Fabinho. Henderson will slip it through. Mohamed Salah on his weak foot. Mane over to Von Alden. And now it is Fabinho. Little chop from him. Through to Mohamed Salah. Now one on one. Mohamed Salah just wide. Cuts back. Fabinho through to Vinaldum. Is he going to conjure something up special here? Shakiri crosses that one in. Mohamed Salah with the header. And out of all goals, you'd expect Mohamed Salah to score. It would not be a header. And the Egyptian, we've taken the lead here in the opening first half. 1 0 to Liverpool. It's taken quite some time, but finally they found the breakthrough here. The corner was taken quickly. And it led to a throw-in. Shakiri's cross was pinpoint. And it's a beautiful little header tucked away in the bottom left. And the number three can put Mohamed Salah. Mohamed Salah? What kind of name is that? The Egyptian <laughs> over the top. He does a little flick. Mohamed Salah. Oh, that could have been brilliant. Fine, now done with that cheeky little pass. And now Salah could find it through to Shakiri. Over to Fabinho. Salah now. Salah slips it through. That is a cheeky back heel. And how is he not finished that? This keeper is having a blinder. Now Virgil van Dijk with the header. Cross goal. And that is going to be a centre back assisting a centre back right there. Joel Matip at the back post. Finds it through. And the Cameroonian punches the corner flag down. Because we have doubled our advantage there. The keeper nearly got to it to be fair. And some Liverpool fans have bloody through the cage right now and Van Dyke headed at the back post the keeper actually got a touch to it he is having an insane game unlucky for him because now it is 2-0 Salem Salem Bafatimbi Gomez and that is going to be that the second goal killed off the Asian champions and the Saudi club will be crashing out of the club world cup Liverpool progressed through to the final it was easy pickings for the lads and we're now going to the Club World Cup final. The scenes here in Qatar. We march on and we have the chance to win the trophy. Now this is the fun part. Who will be our opponents in the big dance? And it will be River Plates in Flamengo's position. The South American champions will be meeting us in the final. The winners of the Copa Libertadores and the winners of the Champions League. I mean, it should be Flamengo, but you got to do what you got to do. They win 4-3 on penalties to Monterrey. Now when is the final scheduled? It is scheduled... Two days before Christmas, we have a Boxing Day fixture as well. We're going to simulate past that West Ham game too. We've got to arrest a few players as well. Okay, it already skipped past. Nevertheless, it was a 2-0 win away against West Ham. And now it is the Club World Cup on Christmas Eve Eve. What a perfect Christmas present it would be to Liverpool fans if they won this game. All right then, it's all going down. Let's take a look and see what River Plate are about. Let's take a look and see what the trophy looks like, what we're fighting for, and what the celebrations will be like. I'm sure there will be limbs in Qatar. Nevertheless, we're going in with that starting 11. Unfortunately, Roberto Firmino is injured. Can't really do too much about that one. River Plate, a very strong side, so we've got to be cautious. Let's go ahead and win this final. The stage is set right here. The Liverpool fans out in force. The River Plate fans out in force. It's a clash of continents. It only can happen in the FIFA Club World Cup. And look at that golden trophy we're fighting for. It's as close to the real thing as you can get, really. I mean, we don't really have the real trophy in game, but I guess that is a good little cup we could look forward to lifting, hopefully, at the end of this match. A Club World Cup final on a Monday night on the 23rd of December. You've got to love it. And this is how River is lining up today. They've got a pretty decent side. Palacios, Enzo Perez, Zuccolini. 
Quarta at the back as well, and Armani in goal. Nice little visual representation of the formation they got rocking as well. The 4 2 2 2. We have liftoff here. Mohamed Salah gets us underway. River Plate on the charge. It is River Plate, the men in purple, coming forward. Virgil van Dijk. River Plate really holding possession well there, but Salah managed to take it off him, and now he's giving it straight back to them. Like it's Christmas Day. Christmas isn't for another two days, Salah. Palacios through. Oh my god, what a block by Van Dijk, but it's gone straight back to Enzo Perez. And now the Argentine outfit have fired themselves into a lead here. A bit of a shock lead, to be honest, because we have been pushing forward and they've just come over on the counter-attack. Put one into the middle, two lucky deflections, and River find themselves into the lead. I mean, take a look at the state of that. Oh, it hits his hand as well. VAR would save us from that, but unfortunately, no handballs in FIFA. As you know, oh, it's clearly hit him there. And River Plate controversial. Can Salah make a nice little run? Jordan Henderson will cut back. Now Mohamed Salah on his favoured left foot. He gets away from his defenders and it's off the crossbar. It hit the frame of the goal. Here we go now on the counter. It's Shakiri over the top through to Mohamed Salah. Now it is one on one. A beautiful little run from the Egyptian now through to Armani. And it's another big save. He's been pressured the entire time. River, oh, he's just done us there. Virgil van Dijk with the block of his life. Over to Henderson, back to van Dijk. Henderson, we're playing patiently now. Vinaldum slips it through for Binio. Salah, surely Salah with the touch to set it up on his left foot. And there is the equalizer from the Egyptian. Beautiful possession, passing play. And we slowly unlock that river defense. And finally, we get our goal. We get the breakthrough. And it's that man, Mohamed Salah, up front. Armani off his line. And there, just placed to perfection, lashed into that bottom left. And that perfectly leads us into the halfway stage. We go into the break at 1-1. It's all up for grabs in the second 45. Pass it out from the back here, Jordan Henderson. The deep line playmaker will start something here. Mohamed Salah puts it through to Fabinho. And now the Brazilian is through on goal here. He might have to cut it back to CDM. Find Salah. It goes past him. What are you doing, son? Now River Plate means business. Prato. Prato running free. Free roaming away from Van Dyke, And our defense is all over the place. Salah now. Mane. He might slip through Robertson, you know. Or he could go it alone. The Senegalese winger makes his way through. And look how much space, look how much time. The defense just opened up. And look at that. It's picture perfect for Jeden Shakiri. And the Swiss international fires us into the lead now. 2-1 up. And for the first time in this match, just over an hour played, we take the advantage here as Mane just managed to stride his way through the defense like they weren't even there. And for the first real time in this match, River Plate have just collapsed right before our eyes. Otherwise, they've been playing brilliantly. But Mohamed Salah somehow breaks away. Now Jordan Henderson, a beautifully timed assist to Gini Wijnaldum. He just couldn't finish it. It was on a plate, but Armani came out with another world-class save. On oh, Matip. Up from the corner, finds Shakiri. Shakiri to lash it straight at the goalkeeper. Few substitutes here. Chamberlain, Keita, and Dejan Lovren get a little run out in the final for the last five minutes. Oh no, River Plate with a chance. No, River Plate with the luckiest of deflections. And it's offside. Quintero's just found out. And the Colombian thought he bagged the equalizer. It would have been another lucky goal on uh, River Plate's part there. But that could have been... An absolute disaster to send it into extra time. Thankfully, Dejan Lovren kept him offside. Coming through on this right-hand side, Chamberlain. Now through to Jordan Henderson, the captain, to finish things off. And Armani has kept it from being an embarrassment for River in the final. And that is going to be it. The FIFA Club World Cup is over. And Liverpool reign supreme in the final. Two goals from Salah and Shakiri was enough to cancel out Perez's opener. And there we have it. Do you think that Liverpool can win it in real life? Will this be a little preview of what can happen? But only in FIFA 20 is this possible on the PC. Thanks to the mod. That is the closest thing you're going to get to a FIFA Club World Cup. Unless EA decide to add something in the next few months, the next few years. Who knows? But there we have it. Liverpool starting the trophy celebrations early. They're going to go back home to England with the cup in their hand. Thanks to Jordan Henderson. He was the captain. He's the man with the armband. That is going to lift it. But that is going to be it, guys. The FIFA Club World Cup in FIFA 20. What are your predictions? Leave them down below. Qatar 2019 is set to be another brilliant tournament. I think that is where we're going to leave it off today, guys. If you do, go ahead and enjoy the video. Make sure to slap the like button down below. It helps out so much. Subscribe and turn on those notifications if you want to keep up to date with all the FIFA 20 Karimo content coming to the channel. Follow me on Twitter. The link is in the description. Comment down below your predictions. 
predictions and also enjoy these FIFA Club World Cup celebrations. Liverpool and FIFA 20 are the 2019 champions.